Hey, what's up, boxers? This is Zach Rosette. Uh, it's been a while since I released a tutorial. Um, I really, really missed you guys. There's obviously been a lot of changes over the last few months, but I felt like it. I've had a long enough break and it was time to do another tutorial. So I'm gonna try to get back into it. I'm gonna start off with a really, really easy tutorial. A lot of you might already know how to do this. So if so, no worries. But for the people who don't, I feel like this might be useful and you may learn a thing or two. So let's go ahead and jump into it. This tutorial is about UI transition using the animation editor, making use of animation events, and um, I'll teach you one or two things about atlases and uh, a couple little tricks that I know. So let's go ahead, let's jump into it. So first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up the Martian Marathon template. So let's go ahead and let's press open now. Okay, great. So let's go ahead and let's just play this template and let's see what things look like currently. Okay, so first things first, it's a quick snap and you're immediately thrown into the instructions and the tutorial. You can touch the screen and it immediately snaps again. There's not really a transition between these two, just instant, instant. Let's touch the screen one more time. Okay, this one was great. It had a like a fade in, a fade from black um, where you can see the color, the character running and then you see Martian Marathon sliding to the right from the left from off screen and so and then you've got a little bit of scaling here with the the play button so that looks good we'll press play now there's not much a of a transition there uh into the gameplay and then once your character is defeated um there there's no background but there is a transition where you see um the game over ui sort of scale up and you see it kind of overlay over the gameplay and then you can press the button and it immediately snaps you back into the gameplay now this is totally acceptable it's fine but i wanted to show you a cool little trick where you could add in some animations um, that will make it look a little bit more professional, a little, a little smoother. So let's go ahead and let's exit out of the preview. I'm gonna go up here to the top left and go to my mind map. And right here, these two first tutorial uh, UI screens, let's go ahead and let's just bypass those. So I'm gonna unhook those right now. I'm gonna focus on these UIs down here. And so we'll hook up the start, uh, the loading screen here to the start UI. And let's go ahead, let's jump into the start UI first. Okay. So one thing that I like to do is if you're gonna have like an orange background color like that, I think um, it's kind of a nice transition to like fade in and fade out and do a dissolve. Um, so what uh, one little trick that I have here um, is I take a screenshot, so I'll hold on to Command Shift 4 on my keyboard, and then that allows me to take a little tiny screenshot. A screenshot. I'll probably do like about 20 by 20 pixels, a little square. And then that is going to end up on my desktop and you can see I've got it hanging out here on my desktop. Now, if you're a PC user, you're gonna to wanna to use like a snipping tool or um, if you've got some other way to do a screenshot uh, that you know of that's better, then by all means use it. Uh, for the most part, I've used snipping tool. Um, and the way that we want to do this animation uh, is we're going to make use of this animation bar down here at the bottom. And if you cannot see this animation bar, then you can go up to view and then make sure that you have animation bar checked off, okay, or else you might not be able to see it. So just toggle that back on and then you should be right there with us. Okay. so. Um, I don't really want to mess with the open uh, animation because I do like the way the words slide in from the left and it fades from black into color and I like that. But let's go ahead and let's select the uh, close event um, animation and you can see right now we've got no close events, got zero frames. So let's go ahead, let's do something. Let's make use out of that close event. So I'm gonna take the screenshot here, I'm gonna drop it in as an image and then let's stretch it out across the screen. Now, the reason why you may be wondering why such a small screenshot, why a little, little tiny square? And the reason for that is, is because you wanna go up here to tools and then you wanna to go to atlases and this is where all of your images are saved for your game. And um, normally you, tr you wanna to try to keep your atlases um, under seven atlases. Right now we have three. Um, you want to try to keep them under seven so that your game doesn't get too slow, your animations don't get bogged down, and you don't have um, any device uh, issues when a player is playing your game. So um, right now, I'm going to zoom in here, 
and you can see this little tiny image here that's taking up space in the atlas and you can see it's like just as small as one of these little like you know coin glow uh, images here and so that's the reason why I go with such a small screenshot and you can stretch it out in build box but it's still going to take up like such very little space here in the atlases and it's also a really good idea everybody to optimize and rebuild your atlases frequently you can see here that we've optimized uh, this template got rid of th three sprites and it ended up reducing our atlases by one so instead of three atlases we have two now so let's go ahead let's jump into this now let's exit out of the atlases Okay, so we've got this image that's covering up, um, covering up everything, and that's actually not what we want. So to start off with, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna select the open event, I'm gonna hit the record button, and then I'm going to select my image here, and I'm gonna change the opacity to zero, and then hit enter, okay? Now, it's important to hit enter because when you do that, it's going to leave this little green check mark and, it, and you have to have the record button turned on. It's gonna leave this little green um, placeholder here and that basically tells you that Billbox has an animation placeholder there and so it, it may change, it may do something with it, but you, you know that something's happening there because of that green, that green square. Now, the next thing that we wanna do is we wanna to go to the close um, animation. Now, the reason why I started off with the open event is because I just wanted to right away make sure that the opacity was zero on that open event so it's not gonna get in the way of anything else, okay? But now that we've got the close event, let's go ahead, let's add in, um, let's add in, uh, let's do 30 frames, okay? Um, and uh, 20 frames is usually pretty quick. 40 is you know a little bit more standard. You'll see that a lot in Buildbox. Um, but let's do kind of like an in between. Let's do 30 uh, 30 frames for this. Okay. So once again for the close animation, we're going to have the opacity set to zero. Okay. And I'm going to hit enter, and then you can see that it went to zero. It's now transparent, and you can see the little green placeholder here in the corner. Okay, awesome, everything's working uh, perfectly. Next, what you wanna do is you wanna either, you can drag this orange uh, placeholder here at the top, um, or you can go ahead and you can just select different frames here, um, down here at the bottom and just click on them and directly uh, access that frame. Um, and what we wanna do is we wanna change the opacity here now to one and then hit enter. Now let's go ahead and hit the little play button down here in the corner and you can see now what is happening. You can see that it's got a nice little fade in and so what it's going to do is it's gonna to fade to this orange and then once we transition to the gameplay, instead of just jumping right into the gameplay and it being kind of abrupt, we're gonna have a nice smooth like fade in, okay? So let's go ahead and let's turn off the play button. Let's turn off the record button and now let's go back to our mind map and go to our regular UI screen here. So let's double click on this. Okay, now let's go ahead, let's bring in the same screenshot. And the cool part about it is even if you bring in that same screenshot multiple times, it's not going to create multiple images in the Atlas. It's not gonna continuously take up more and more space. So you can also copy and paste this image from another UI, but be careful when you do that because you never know if that might cause um, you know a crash or any sort of problems. I've run into that before when trying to copy images that have animations attached to them. I think some of us have. Um, so uh, the way I around that is I just drop a fresh one into the new into another UI. Okay, so we're gonna go over here to the open event. Okay, select the open event here for our animation. Let's turn the record button on. Okay, and make sure we're at the zero frame, the very beginning of this uh, animation. And let's go ahead and let's keep the uh, let's keep the frames at forty. Um, I think uh, this game might, you know, be a little choppy in the beginning, so having a little extra frames here is is okay. Um, so let's go ahead. Let's select the opacity as one and hit enter. Um, you can see we've got our green placeholder there, so we know we did that right. Let's go to the 40th frame. Let's select zero for the opacity, put in zero, hit enter on our keyboard. And then now we can turn off the record button and we can see, okay, fade into the gameplay. Okay, so let's just really quickly, let's just take a look and see what that looks like now. Okay, so we'll press play. It's gonna fade to orange and fade nicely into the gameplay. And that just, 
to me that looks uh, like a lot smoother now keep in mind if you're gonna like have very very fast moving gameplay you don't want to necessarily do a super slow dissolve or a super slow fade in because that might send players too quickly into the gameplay and they won't be able to register enemies and obstacles so um, okay let's go ahead and let's do one final transition for the um, for the end of or going into the game over UI and then we'll go ahead and end this tutorial all right so uh, I'm gonna go over here to the end screen UI I'm gonna bring my screenshot in here I'm gonna press I'm gonna just uh, drop it in here I'm gonna stretch it out across just like we did for the other UIs and then let's go to the open event let's make sure that we got the record button on we'll change the opacity to zero and, uh, and stop it there. Um, the reason why we're doing this here is because I like the way the scaling comes out of the, uh, you can even see it's a little, little tiny here, that little mark right there. Um, that is your menu, it's gonna, it's gonna scale out and looks it looks really smooth. I don't really think you need to do the fade in for this. So um, now let's go over here to the uh, close um, animation, the close event, and let's go ahead and let's do another 30 frames is fine. Okay, and hit enter. Okay, now what we wanna do is we want to go from zero to one. So it's gonna be transparent, we can see the game over and then we wanna go to our color and then it's gonna transition back into the gameplay. Okay, great. So let's go ahead and let's press, uh, let's make sure the opacity is zero, hit enter. Okay, great, we'll go to the 30th frame, put one in for the opacity, hit enter. Let's turn off the record button and that is it, my friends. Let's go ahead and let's press play and let's take a look at this. Okay, so first transition, here we go. Fades into the gameplay that looks really, really smooth. Let yourself run into an obstacle. Now you can see it's not messing with the animation, that first animation coming in, but when we hit the restart button, it's gonna fade and then it's gonna fade back into the gameplay and that just looks a lot more smooth, it looks a lot smoother. It looks a lot more professional in my opinion and it's it's something subtle but it's, um, it's a nice touch and it's a simple UI transition that you can do for all sorts of games, it works all the time. Um, you, I've used it many, many times. So that's the end of this tutorial. I'm hoping to have a lot more tutorials for you soon. So keep an eye out for those tutorials. I think this is my first one in quite a long time, but I'm excited to get back into the game. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in another tutorial. All right. Thank you.